And thank you for joining us on this Friday. I'm Nicole Burley at News Nation headquarters here in Chicago. And President Joe Biden is looking toward the Democratic National Convention next month after facing a slew of reporter questions and a high stakes press conference. The president defending his record last night, as well as calls for him to step aside in that nearly hour long press conference. It comes amid a tug of war within the Democratic Party and the president's own inner circle. The list of Democratic lawmakers calling on him to step aside is growing by the day. Right now, the number stands at 17 in the House and one in the Senate. So, correspondents. Kelly Meyer and Joe Kilio both standing by for us live. Uh, Joe, we're going to start with you. The president, as we know, we're learning that he, he met with House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries last night. We heard from Jeffries prior to this meeting, actually during News Nation Now yesterday. Do we know the specifics of what the two discussed? So we know the subject of what they discuss, which is the concerns that House Democrats have been bringing to Hakeem Jeffries. In fact, we caught up with him almost exactly where I'm standing right now, uh, Wednesday, and he did express that it was his intention that he was going to listen to all of his members who expressed serious fears and concerns, not just about the control of the White House, but about control of the House. Generally, many members have, we know and have confirmed, talk to Leader Jeffries about fears that in their own home districts, they, especially ones who were already in tough districts to begin with, may be brought down because of President Biden being at the top of the ticket, whether he actually brings their chances down. So those are concerns Jeffries heard from members. He says in this letter that he sent out, which News Nation has obtained, to all House Democrats that he brought those concerns directly to President Biden. And he says they had a good discussion about it. Didn't get into details about what was said, but said it was a good conversation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.